Back with another fun Webtoon Artist Rambles video. Today's question is, it's a little tricky for me, so we're going to see how much I'm going to be rambling on this one. <laughs> so the question that I saw was, how many panels should a Webtoon have? Now the reason why this question is a little difficult because it's not very, for me to answer, it's not very specific because, I mean, the, the answer is it depends on your story. So some stories, like for mine, my webtoon usually has about 40 or so panels depending on each chapter and that panel number will change depending on whether I am able to finish the story in like a complete in a complete way so like the quality of the story I like to make sure the story at least feels like like we at least covered one point or or got to like usually not really a point but like the butt end of the joke like once the story got to like the joke part then I feel like that's a good way for me to end my episode and I'm done drawing the panels <laughs> so for episode six I'm not counting all these <laughs> but usually my panels are about two per file so usually roughly around 40 panels all together. Sometimes I'll have one file, one panel per file. And I, I work in batches. Some webtoon artists actually work in uh, the long form. Let me go ahead and pull that up for you uh, to show you an example. Alrighty. Alrighty, so here is an example of a webtoon in long, in like the long form format. As you can see, all the panels are just basically stacked on top of each other. So some webtoon artists just go in and draw their panels like this. So it's just one big file. For me, I, I get overwhelmed if I see a file that long. Even though this looks overwhelming, I don't get overwhelmed by this. I'm like, oh, I just got to do two panels for this file, one panel for that file, so on and so forth. So the question, the question, <laughs> the answer to that question is it how many panels should a webtoon have it depends on how long your story is now my what I think might be the question they kind of want to ask is how many panels should go on a page like if you're working in batches like how I do how many panels should go on like one page like how many do you suggest so it doesn't look too overcrowded or or cluttered now again with that that kind of all depends on the size of your page so I know the answer is not very helpful but let me go ahead and show you what I do something that I use to help me kind of like measure how many panels I should have is of course the flow of the story because certain when I'm doing certain jokes I like to have like a little gap which adds like a pause and then boom joke and you're hit with the joke so pacing that's the word. <laughs> so I like to keep pacing in mind. I can't really describe what pacing is. I'm, I'm not good at that. But what I do recommend you use if you're not really good at pacing your panels, if you don't really have that kind of mindset to, not mindset, but if you can't really pace things, pace your story using the gaps, I cannot word today. Use this webtoon guide. <laughs> I have it on my website. I'll make sure I'll link that down below. But this is a guide that I use for to for my webtoon formats. And I try to make sure that I don't have like more than as you right here. Let me get my stylus pen instead of using this this thing about. What am I doing? Go up. Okay, so if you look at this panel at this webtoon guide. There are different, what I keep in mind is making sure that I have a horizontal line. I've covered this in other videos and I'll, I'll link to that also. But I at least make sure that I have my horizontal lines or my vertical lines at least crossing over different these different intersecting parts of this guide. So as you can see there's like an X here. So I could actually fit in another panel right here if I wanted to. It all depends on how I want the pacing of the story to be. Because the closer some panels are, like the more panels you have on there, the faster the read is. Um, or the faster the pacing of the story is. So like if I had like a character there, the faster the pace of the story could be. Or you can actually use this as like a pause in the middle and that can actually slow it down as well. So hmm. I, I just learned something new so I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to pacing but 
Either way, I use this guide to help me figure out how many panels I want according to how many X's, X Xing, how many intersecting <laughs> parts are on there. So I suggest you can use the guide that I use and you can use that as like a tool just to kind of help you get used to, to the number of panels. Get your eye used to how many panels you want on your webtoon. And so you can kind of like wing it yourself. Or you can just continue to use the webtoon guide, which is what usually I do. But for me, after using this guide for for so long, I my eyes feel comfortable with just having either two panels or one panel. And then sometimes I'll just like crop it. But yeah, so I use the webtoon panel guide. If you don't want to use my webtoon panel guide, there is also another feature in webtoon with the grids that you can use. These are all just compositional tools. I've I've covered that in other in other videos. I I don't want to ramble on too much with this video, but just use but composition tools can help you balance out your image to know how many panels should go on there to where it still looks balanced and it doesn't look cluttered. So so. It, you can put actually as many as you want. I could have made these panels a lot smaller like let me I could actually have a panel here I could have had a panel here see I just have it touching this horizontal line just I'm making sure it's either touching a horizontal line or overlapping an intersecting line I could have had a panel here we're just gonna get a little creative with this now that line I could have had a panel here so as you can see of course it would have been a lot smaller so it would have been a lot smaller but if that's the like the style that you're going for then you know more power power more power to you <laughs> for me I like the bigger webtoon style I like how the image the the panel takes up the majority of the webtoon that's just that's just my personal preference so Again, you can, it, it doesn't really matter how many panels are on there as long as you're able to, as long as your total file size doesn't exceed 20 megabytes and not individual file size. Each individual file can be of like 2 megabytes, but I cover that again in my blog post below before I start confusing you guys all even more. So, to reiterate again, because I'm quite redundant, how many panels should go into a webtoon? depends on your story depends on the punchline depends on the if your story feels full or empty by the end of it <laughs> so I guess a good rule of thumb if you need like an answer I do 20 I do 20 panels each episode so not 20 panels I do 40 panels or 20 panels so you can do like 35 if you want depending on how how you're able to handle that workflow I, I do this is what I do I do about 40 or 20 depending on again the story so hopefully that helps <laughs> hopefully this what I said was useful or helpful it wouldn't be a webtoon ramble if if I didn't say it the way that I said it because I just this is just me any hoodle doodle again you can check out my website for more tips and <laughs> rambly advice from this webtoon artist it's the website is smarshitastudio.com and I will see you guys, or not see you guys, talk to you guys again in my next video. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye!